Okay, Sagittarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. If you want the full astrology breakdown every single week because you love astrology and you want the details for the here and now, check out my second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I give that to you. I bring it to you every single week for all 12 zodiac signs. This reading is is a timeless message it comes to you when it's supposed to and I have hundreds of them on this channel for you so please feel free to peruse and check them out um, and also this is an energy reading so please 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 Sag, take everything how it resonates and how where it resonates and how it resonates in your life Sagittarius this is your energy for whatever week you're watching this and the only card that's come out a little bit in the past is exceptionality. I need I need more information, of course, but exceptionality, the card is about, first of all, the acceptance of who you are, people taking notice, finally, of your skills. Now, this may have just started to happen or you had just started to recognize specific skill set in yourself. And it's the acceptance of this that is actually positioning you to be noticed and recognized by other people, but you do have to first accept it, accept it in yourself. This is a confirmation that yes, in fact, you are super skilled, you are super talented, and that people are starting to take notice and that you have leveled up in some way right maybe maybe your experiences exceptional experiences are happening to you or you've just met somebody that you think is phenomenal or special but it's odd it's weird it's not normal it is exceptional it's something out of the ordinary which is wonderful so what does that mean for us this week oh okay success people are going to recognize that you're good at something and give you an opportunity they're talking about you and they have nothing but good stuff to say this is also a sense of job or career opportunities are opening up for you or romance starting to blossom and bloom when it comes to people recognizing that you are something else you are something special so this could be an exceptional romance this could be an exceptional opportunity really the heart of all of those things is that people are recognizing how exceptional you are because or while you recognize it in yourself so this could also be a leo energy in your life somehow somebody is surprising you most definitely could be something from childhood something that you have desired or something that you have cared about um we have the Ten of Swords here, which means something ended, something finished. Maybe something exceptional that you really loved or a success ended. I want to clarify this card. I don't feel that way. What I think it is, is that um, you're tired of some sort of hassle or heartbreak. You're tired of something that is constantly stabbing you in the back or somebody you're poking. It's almost like... It's, it's like you don't have to deal with that anymore. This is the confrontation of your of the good stuff about you in the wake of having have had a lot of harm done to you. So there's all of a sudden this good stuff starting to come in to a situation where there's still some sort of sadness about something that ended. Then we have a little bit into the future, but kind of right now, um, almost a melancholy, a sense of you're still thinking about it. You're still thinking about something that you loved and lost. Or you're still you're still somehow thinking you know um, um, of some sort of pleasure or some sort of joy, some happy fond memories is all I can really think of. Because I want to clarify the Ten of Swords. What are you talking about, God? What what is the Ten of Swords, please? In some ways, it could be even though you're exceptional at something, you don't enjoy it as much as you used to. This is kind of something that you always cared about, but there's too much pain associated with it. Seven of Pentacles has confirmed that there was something that just wasn't working out or wasn't moving forward, something that had stagnated, um, but you kept fighting with regardless. But now it's come to an end or you're tired of fighting for it. Uh, maybe you're getting closer to or coming into connection with somebody from your past, a person from your past, or um, 
a sense of yourself, who you are. Um, this doesn't look like, okay, be, be more clear on this, God. Can you please confirm why this Ten of Swords is here, what it has ended, what, what it has ended. Something with a job or work or healing needs to happen. The Hermit card is here. The end of being alone, the end of struggling or fighting alone. Maybe you're connecting with siblings or friends where you can be in a happy place or a healthier place, allowing people in to help you, um, allowing togetherness again. So it's, it's definitely an end to being alone. The Hermit energy is, there's, there's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of just just feelings of intensity that maybe have been stifled or um, you haven't addressed. This could be secrets coming out or messages coming out or words that hadn't been spoken and that's why things had stagnated because somehow, I don't know, you'd held, you'd held on to something, maybe for the reason or protection of your children or just because of happy memories. Um, but there's definitely a sense of Polar opposites here, Virgo and Virgo and Pisces represent those dynamics of ourself where we cultivate and we work on the earth and Pisces is completely unexpected and really even unknown to us. So uh, Virgo is complete intention, but it's stuck to the 3D and then Pisces is stuck to the nebulous, the dreams and it's, um, it's surprising, you can't really grapple with it each away this is sort of like the pathway to faith um I, it feels like there's a lot of healing going on here and you needed a long time alone or you were working really hard on something you okay this is a confirmation i would definitely take a new job if you can because your old job is ending <laughs> Uh, why because this hasn't been really announced but you can feel it like intuitively you understand that there is something here going on that is being kept from you and that there wasn't any forward momentum or motion and that is almost like for the first time you know in maybe ever you realized how stuck you were in some situation um, I think you hang you hung on almost in an immature way you hung on to who too hard to a dream you had as a child or something that maybe you thought you wanted from childhood but you're not that person anymore what direction is Sagittarius supposed to go because we have a lot of success it could have been dr some dreams finally a dream finally died because you worked and you worked and you worked for a long time and all it did was isolate you and frustrate you but I want a confirmation on that. What is this Six of Cups? What is this Six of Cups, please? Con confirm, God, what is the Six of Cups? So the Six of Cups is a bunch of confusion, just a sense of it's, it's, it's a bunch of feelings, too, and disappointment about what you were offered compared to what you thought the offer would be or how things would be when you were a kid or disappointed in family, childhood, home, going back home. There's a sense of seven of cups is distraction, delusion, illusion. Five of cups is always looking at the past and there's regret somehow. All right, so what do you want Sagittarius to do? We gotta get a moon card, we really do. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry, God, you need to clear or clarify that to me. What do you want Sagittarius to do? Um, let's get a moon card first. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this, Sagittarius. Nothing is yet set in stone, so it's almost like you don't really know how you feel yet because there was you're still dealing with the emotions of something that really hurt or you you expected something to go a certain way and it didn't and I think it was abruptly interrupted and this week is saying that there's a confrontation of that reality maybe for the first time letting yourself tap that reality and say this isn't going to go the way that I want um it's definitely saying it's time to move forward because for the first time in a long time you're recognizing I don't want to be stuck and if I stay here I will be stuck nothing is yet set in stone so a decision has not been made I think you're you may be expecting the worst Sagittarius 
because you're re you're used to what's always happened in the past but i can confirm that that's not the same situation this is not the past and people are recognizing your brilliance you're not going to be treated the same way this is going to go differently but it makes sense that you don't understand that because you have so many experiences the other way the king of pentacles who is this this is usually a masculine earth sign capricorn or virgo virgo shows up in the reading uh capricorn virgo taurus this is usually somebody with money somebody who is the boss of things somebody who handles maybe could hide. somebody's about to offer you a new opportunity that's going to change your world just confirmed guys king of pentacles here you know maybe it's almost a sense of expect the worst hope for the best like like expect the worst no 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 <laughs> expect the worst don't hope for anything just so that you don't get your heart dashed but you're different and the world is different you're not the same person and you're not in the same place as you used to be this is confirmed king of pentacles i usually associate with this with some sort of boss or leader or somebody who's got money is about to make you or give you a new opportunity um, about to make you an offer and the world card comes out meaning yes now you can finally put this chapter close it close the chapter on getting ignored or disappointed or like people not seeing you and your value and open up that new door for people treating you differently and giving you this opportunity because there's now opportunities opening up for you uh, people are offering you the opportunities okay wow i think i, I just it's like you're assuming the worst or thinking the worst Sagittarius. Hold on. Sorry. What's the real, like, what's the, the damage? I don't understand the real conflict. Ace of Pentacles, that's a confirmation right there. It's divine intervention, guys. That's what's coming to you. Now, usually this means a new job, maybe money in a in a in an easy way. Um, it could just be um, it could just be resources or, like I said, a, an opportunity. This is it's almost like the time when you have to confront your own skepticism. It's the kind it's the kind when it's the time when when something good is offered to you, so you have to confront your own cynicism of the world and maybe how cynical you've gotten. This is really a nice opportunity and a trustworthy offer that is karma accumulated. It's being offered to you in a very sincere way from a very sincere place. It's almost like, hey, Sagittarius, God set this up for you. There was some sort of abandonment of being left alone. And, and when you were left alone, God judged your behavior and how you acted. And he judged you fairly. This is a sense of judgment, judgment call with regards to maybe somebody who left you behind or, or your abandonment. Um, this is a sense of finally being selected or chosen even though you're used to being abandoned or left behind. How was Sagittarius left behind? I always wanna get into the big scoop of things, but you guys are like, you probably already know. Leave your comments below, absolutely. How was Sagittarius left behind? This is just you maybe you were the one that did the leaving it's almost like in some ways you're going to make that is that's what that's what it's saying you're going to make the decision to walk out on your job your person who's not working out for you some sort of situation you're you're gonna you're gonna open up the door yourself you're gonna be set up to real you're gonna be set up to be able to do it to make the decision to leave or walk away and choose you let's go to the extended i will show you where this applies to all aspects of your life the link is down below in the description box i pin it to the top of the comment section if you're watching this on television you got to grab your cell phone or your laptop or desktop all the links are available there none of them are available on tv it just doesn't work that way on tv but i will see you guys in the extended